Hello dear students today we will discuss respiration the process of releasing energy from oxidation of food is called respiration oxidation of food takes place in cell that's why sometimes it is also called cellular respiration it is of two type aerobic and anaerobic let us start from aerobic the respiration which needs oxygen or occurs in the presence of oxygen is called aerobic respiration during this type of respiration glucose is broken down into carbon dioxide and water with the release of considerable amount of energy the energy is stored in the form of atp it consists of two steps glycolysis the conversion of glucose into pyruvate or pyruvic acid is called glycolysis it occurs in cytoplasm krebs cycle it is the process of converting pyruvate into carbon dioxide and water along with the release of considerable amount of energy it occurs in the mitochondria one molecule of glucose liberate 38 atp of energy during aerobic respiration and this atp is used the energy from the atp is used for various cells functions an aerobic respiration the respiration which takes place in the absence of oxygen is called anaerobic respiration during this respiration glucose is broken down into ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide with the release of very small amount of energy in an aerobic respiration one molecule of glucose produces only 2 atp of energy this type of respiration occurs in microscopic organism like yeast bacteria etc pyruvic acid convert into ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide in human beings the energy is obtained by aerobic respiration but sometime an aerobic respiration occurs in muscles during vigorous exercise when oxygen gets consumed faster than its supply by the blood during the anaerobic respiration in the muscle the glucose is converted into lactic acid with the release of 2 atp of energy so now let us discuss the mechanism of breathing the human respiratory system begins from the nose cavity is called nostrils the air from cavity enters into the pharynx and then into the trachea or windpipe the trachea runs down the neck and divide into two tubes called bronchi each bronchi is connected to a, to a lung in the lungs each bronchi divides into a large number of thin tubes called bronchioles the bronchioles have a tiny air sac at their end called alveoli it is in the alveoli where exchange of gases takes place when we breathe in air the diaphragm contracts and flattens which result in the increase in volume of chest cavity due to this expansion of chest cavity the air pressure in the lungs decreases thus the air from outside rushes into the lungs through nostrils trachea and bronchi therefore air sacs of lungs get filled with air when we breathe in the exchange of gases between alveoli and blood take place by the process of diffusion oxygen from alveoli reaches blood and co2 from blood diffuses into alveoli now the air present in the air sacs of the lungs is rich in carbon dioxide when we breathe out air the diaphragm relaxes which result in the decrease in volume of the chest cavity this pushes the air from the lungs into the trachea nostril and then out of the body breathing in air is called inhalation or inspiration and breathing out of the air is called exhalation or expiration mechanism of gases exchange during respiration the oxygen is carried by blood to all parts of the body actually hemoglobin of the red blood cells binds oxygen and takes to the different parts as the blood passes through the tissues of the body the oxygen from the blood diffuses into the cell whereas the carbon dioxide which is produced during respiration diffuses into the blood and is carried to the lungs and in the lungs breathing in and breathing out takes place